In this video, we're going to look at significant figures in computations. So our first rule is for multiplication, division, and roots, the result has the same number of significant figures as the input that has the least. So for example, I have a square here, one side has three, that's one significant figure, and say the other side is 6.4, I'll give them meters, say. If we want to calculate the area, that's going to be three meters times 6.4 meters, which is equal to 19 point two meters squared. However, this has 6.4 as two significant figures, three is one, which means the result can only have one significant figure. So I would say this is 20 meters squared. Let's say I have a sphere and it has a radius of 5.25 meters. And I wanna know the surface area of this sphere. Well, the surface area is four pi r squared, I get 346.360590058247, which is where my calculator stopped. And of course, all of those digits are not significant. But which ones, so how, how many? Well, let's go to the input. First of all, this formula for the surface area of a sphere is exactly true. And because it's exactly true, both the four and the pi, in this case, would have an infinite number of significance. They're, they're perfectly exact. So you don't count them in the significant figure calculation. And so the only input that has a finite number of significant figures is the radius, and it has three, which means your result must have three. And so the surface area would be 346 meters squared. Note that in both of these cases, we rounded to the nearest. So 346, we rounded down, whereas we rounded up to 20. The second rule is for addition and subtraction. For addition and subtraction, the last significant figure will of the result will have the same place value as the input number with the largest place value. You might not remember what place value means, maybe the last time you've seen it in elementary school, but by here there's the ones place, the nine is in the tens place, the four is in the hundreds place, thousands place, here's the tenths, hundredths, and the thousandths place, okay? So that's what I mean by place value. Of course, this way, the larger place value and going to the right is the smaller place value. So this number, the place value of the last significant figure is in the thousandths place. If I have just 7,490, nine is the last significant figure and it is in the tens place. So, and so it has a larger place value than the first number. Okay, so let's just do some examples. Let's say I have 2.136 plus 3. This is equal to 5. The last significant digit is in the thousandths place for that number, but in the ones place for 3. So ones is the largest place value of the input, so that's the last significant figure, the place value of the last significant figure for the result. If I have 2.136 plus 0 0.003, this is equal to 2.139. I keep all four significant figures here because the last place value is the thousandths for this number and the thousandths place for that number. So the thousandths place will be the place value for the last significant figure in the result. Here we have 2.1 plus 0 0.003 is now equal to 2.1. There's the tenths place. This is the thousandths. And so the result, the last one will be in the tenths place. And we would round to that, to that digit. And so the three doesn't add any value at all. My final example, I'm gonna add all six of these numbers together. And I'm adding them vertically in this way so we could see all the place values line up. So the input with the largest place value as its last significant figure is going to be these first two numbers in the hundredths place. So I'm just gonna sort of draw a line here because this is sort of the last place value of significance. But now you can't ignore all these numbers because that might affect how you round at the end. So if I just write this out there, eight, five, six, there's seven, 11, that's eight. This is seven, five point five. And so this is 
going to be the place value of the last significant figure of the result, but since this digit is an 8, the final answer to the correct number of significant figures will be 5.58. Don't exclude all of this initially, carry all the result to the end, and then round to the appropriate last significant figure.